Hello, and welcome to another Imagine Tech Tip. My name is Leo Levian, Civil Specialist at Imagine Solutions. In this video, we'll be working to create an access road from an existing roadway to a proposed site. I have often seen videos on creating simple gradings for pads, ponds, and sites, but access to the site is something that I've seen missing. After getting asked the same question in a recent class, I decided to make a short video. In this case, we're not going to focus too much on uh, the design itself as far as uh, adding real shoulders, curb and gutters. All I want to do is t talk about uh, an idea to access a proposed pad from an existing road. In this case, we do have uh, existing surfaces here, uh, a little bit of uh, an existing site. Uh, we do have options. To, uh, in this case, a site has already been created. A feature line has already been placed in, put in place here for my pad. And a little bit of grading is already happening. Now, as our grading for this site here has already time to existing grade, we will be removing it to allow design for my roadway access here. And part of the magic we're going to be leveraging is feature line styles within sites. In this case, if we take a peek at the settings tab, you'll see that we do have multi-purpose styles over here feature line styles, and we have a grading high and low stylization. The purpose of these styles here is to control that split point resolution or what happens when feature lines touch each other within a site. In this case, those, this site under the feature line properties, we have had set those styles so the high lines will control the lower lines. And that's what's going to happen here. My pad will have a higher value, my lines will have a little bit lower and that will control that split point resolution or what happens as these two lines touch each other. As I continue here, let, how about we go in and uh, open up my grading tools. Let's get rid of the grading that we have here as of right now as we'll have to create a new one. Delete the grading and we'll get rid of him for right now. Let's carry on in this case. Uh, we would like to take a peek at uh, then adding in our design. We will be creating a feature line from this object. This would be my roadway axis here. It is one finished loop here, uh, showing our tie axis to the existing grade there. And what I'm going to do is uh, give it a name. I'm just going to call it road, put it in the same site pad, give it a stylization of low. And uh, for right now, I'm not going to assign any elevations onto it. So what we're only going to see is the points of the lines that are touching the pad that will be elevated. As I hit OK, you'll see what happens there. As we start setting elevations, I know I want to be on existing grade at the roadway and uh, set a transition between those two points. As I select that feature line, I will be using the option to set that quick elevation edit. This allows me to select the feature line and set the elevation of the beginning point there. Read my surface. And in the case, this surface that I want to use is my uh, existing site. I will set the elevation there and set the elevation on the opposite side, uh, the, reading the surface. Again, the existing site will be what it's using, and it elevates those two points. Now, what we see here is the points at the pad have been elevated, the points on the existing grade have been elevated, but the transition between the curve and the tangent is still at zero, its original location. What I'm gonna do here is make a little bit of a change and use the option to set slope in between points. That is, I know the elevation of this feature line at the roadway, I will accept it and I want to come down here over the pad. Again, an elevation that I know. I will let the software then calculate the distance on the line, find out the grade that it should be, and accept it as well, elevating that portion of the line. I will do it to the opposite side, starting at the roadway, accepting the elevation there, finishing at my pad. Once I read those on screen elevations and the information that's there, it will calculate the slope, I will accept it, and I get what we see here. Now, I would like to have this be one continuous feature line, so we're going to take this pad and trim it to give me access here. And I will use the trim option. Not the civil, but the intelligent tool for trim. I will select my object that will cause a trimming and then create that void. As I want to create one grading solution all the way throughout, I can go in and uh, take this feature line and now join it. I'd like to use the option to join here and say, hey, let's go ahead and take these two lines and let's join them to have one continuous grading solution all the way throughout. That gives me one grading pad. Now, I'm not focusing too much on design. I use the existing elevation and proposed elevations, bridge the gap there. Now I have the ability of going back and talking to grading. 
I will go back and open my grading tools, still dealing with the same group. I have a surface that I want to hit up because what I want to do is grade to the surface. As I start this up, I am going to get Deng saying what surface I would like to use. I would like to use my existing site as a solution. Select the feature line and grade towards the outside. I'm not going to grade to the entire length as uh, the entrance there is already on existing grade. So I'm going to choose the option to no for grading. And as I get the option to choose my starting point, I can choose the beginning of my line here, which would be my radius and start and come all the way around to the other side of my site here. I could use O snaps. I'm just getting really, really close here to where I want to begin and end as that is on existing grade. And it gives me the option to loop all the way around. Choosing then my option for my slope, which I'm going to default at 2 to 1, my fill, which I'm going to leave at 2 to 1, and it creates my grading object. It does create that side script there as uh, I, you'll see my site has been graded. I do need to create an infill and that's the reason why I closed the roadway. So I should be able to go back and create an infill and fill in my pad and create one final surface for me throughout. Not focusing too much on design. Some of those elevations were already given at the pad. All I focused here was creating, a, creating that roadway that closed the gap between the existing road and access to the pad. Something really simple for you to use. I hope you liked it and learned a little bit here. Thank you for watching. Make sure to visit our website for more artist content related to engineering design.